how to downgrade from iOS 11 to iOS 10.3.2. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. What is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. In this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 11 to iOS 10.3.2. Now a little disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your device and in the recording of this video, it is June 11, 2017, so this method might not work for you depending on when you're watching it, but it should work for now. So the things you're going to need for this downgrade is obviously your iPhone running iOS 11, the Apple Mac computer, or you can have a Windows computer that'll work just fine. Just make sure you have iTunes installed on your computer and make sure it's preferably the latest edition you can get of the iTunes. All right, guys, so make sure that you do have iTunes opened up and ready to go. Keep it opened in the background on your Windows or your Mac computer. Go ahead and locate the file on a website. I will leave the link to where I found my file, but one thing I do want to point out is make sure that you get the exact version of the iPhone that you have. Now, only iPhone 5S and above will do this. So if you do have a CDMA, make sure you download the right link for it because these are two different links and it could put you in a boot loop if you don't. So just make sure you get the exact phone that you have here and it should work here on all of these iPhones right here. So I'll leave this link down below. These might not work after a while. So as of now, they do work though. Okay, so take your lightning cable and plug it into your computer here. So have that cable handy and ready to go. Make sure that you do not have Find My iPhone enabled. You're signed in. Make sure it's turned off in the settings as well. And now just go ahead and turn off the iPhone 6 for in this video. This is the example I'm using. Power this baby off. Now, if you are using an iPhone 7 series of smartphone, you're going to have to use the power button for the next step. I'm going to tell you right here. So keep holding down the power button. Just hold our, the home button. Keep holding that down ahead and plug in that lightning cable. Now, as you plug it in, keep holding it down until we get into the recovery mode here for the iPhone. You're going to see now it says we're plugged into iPhone and it says right here, it's going to say there's a problem with iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. Now just hit cancel right here and go ahead and just hit update here on the recovery mode. Don't hit restore iPhone or you're going to lose all of your files and data. So let's just hit update here. And it will say, if your phone cannot be updated, you would need to restore it to its factory settings. iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 10.3.2 and verify the update with Apple. Okay, so we're just going to hit update here on the iPhone and it just shows you what it includes. We'll hit next here. We'll hit agree to the terms of services. And now it's going to update it back to the iOS 10.3.2 here on the iPhone 6. So down here, I'm just going to click done and it should be doing its update thingy here. So while it's updating, it will just still look like this, but you will see it up here in the right hand corner. If you hit the download icon in iTunes software, you'll see it updating right there. It will show how much data is left before it starts to download it into your device here. And once it's done downloading over there, it'll automatically start putting your iPhone into downloading of iOS 10.3.2 can see the update is completed here on the iPhone 6. If you get any prompts that ask you to allow this computer to trust your iPhone in the process, go ahead and do that. Just allow it to trust. It's just telling the computer that it can use your information with iTunes and stuff like that to keep it in sync here. And it'll say, welcome to your new iPhone. And it's showing the iOS 10 wallpaper here. So at this point, you can go ahead and just take out your cord here out of your iPhone. We'll just hit continue and I'll just hit next here. I'll just hit continue and I will just agree to the terms and services here. I will agree right here and I won't share this with Apple for now. I'll just hit get started and you can see I am now on iOS 10. So I'm going to go over into the settings of this device. I'm going to hit settings. I'm going to go into the about section and you can see iOS 10.3.2 14F89 is installed on the iPhone 6. Now this is the official version so you still will be able to get updates. It's kind of nice to see that that iOS 11 wallpaper stayed on there so I think I'm going to leave it on there for now but definitely iOS 10. And how do we know this is iOS 10.3.2? Well look at the calculator icon. You can go into the apps store we can also see down here no more today view games and apps it's just the older 10.3.2 look right here 
And that's pretty much how you go ahead and downgrade back to iOS 10.3.2. Like it's very simple. All you need is a Mac computer, a Windows computer, your cable, iTunes, you're good to go. Just follow the directions in this video and you should be back on iOS 10.3.2. And you can always go ahead and reinstall the betas if you would like. Any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below and uh, do this at your own discretion. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Hit that thumbs up if you found this helpful, enjoyable. I will catch you all in the next one be sure to be well and peace